Next, I'll work through some examples of using mats and strips and units to add and subtract numbers. So we'll start with the addition problem 264 plus 189. Over here on the left, I've got two mats, six strips, and four units representing the number 264, and one mat, eight strips, and nine units representing the number 189. So we start by adding the units together. So let me just group them all together like this. And now I've got 13 units in total, which is too many to have in the ones column. And so I need to do some regrouping. So let me just grab 10 of them and we'll exchange them over here in my exchange bin for a strip. Okay, so that's dealt with the units. Now let's deal with the strips. So let's again put them all together and then see if we need to do any exchanges. So we have 15 strips in total, which is too many to have in this column. So we'll take 10 of them and exchange them for a mat. So put the mat up there and then we'll take this other mat, put it with the other three. So we've got four mats in total and five strips and three units, which represents the number 453. Okay, so how does this work when we write this down using, using the usual addition algorithm? Well, we start with four plus nine comes to 13 and we write the three down here and then the one up here. That represents the number 13. Next, we're adding six plus eight plus one, which comes to 15. And again, we write the number five here and the one up here. And then finally, two plus one plus one comes to four. So there's my final answer, 453. So in the classroom, you wanna have the children working with actual physical manipulatives and adding mats and strips and units and doing the exchanges. And then as the teacher, you need to connect that physical activity to the more abstract notion of writing down this addition algorithm using this method here. Okay, so that's addition. How about subtraction? So let's do 264 minus 189. Okay, so we'll start by setting up the number 264. So let's move two of the mats out of the way. Looks like we need one more strip. So let's grab one more strip. And then it looks like we need one more unit. So let's grab one more unit. Okay, so there's the number 264. And remember what we're doing, we're subtracting 189. So if we start with the units again, I need to subtract nine from four. Well, I can't do that. So I'm gonna have to do um, an exchange to get some more units to be able to subtract from. So what we'll do is we'll grab one of these strips and we'll exchange it for 10 units. So let's put 10 units over here. So now I've got 14 units and I can subtract nine from 14. So let's do that. Let's subtract nine of the units. Yeah, let's grab eight and then I'll just grab one more. Okay, and so we're left with, with five units. Okay, so we've dealt with the units. Now let's deal with the, with the strips. And again, let's remind ourselves what we're doing. So I'm subtracting the number 189. So I need to subtract eight strips from, we have five strips to subtract from. Well, again, I can't do that. And so I'm gonna have to do an exchange. So let's grab one of the mats 
and exchange it for 10 strips. Okay, so now I've got 15 strips and I can, I can subtract eight strips from 15. So let's do that. Let's take away five and then take away another three. Okay, and that'll leave me with seven. Okay, so that's dealt with the strips. And then finally, again, let's just take a look at what we're doing. We're subtracting 189. So I need to subtract one mat. Okay, and there's, a, there's only one mat here. So let me take that one away. And there's our final answer. It is seven strips and five units, the number 75. So let's see how that looks when we write that down using the subtraction algorithm. So first thing we do is notice that we can't subtract nine from four. So we'll need to do an exchange. Let's exchange one of the tens. And we've got six. So, so if we exchange one of them, there'll be five left. And exchange that for 10 units. Add that to the four that we already have. And so we'll have 14 units in total, 14 ones. And now I can subtract nine from 14. That'll give me five. And then next step, I need to subtract eight from five. Well, I can't do that. So I'm going to need to do another exchange. Let's exchange one of these two hundreds. It'll leave me with one. And the other one I'll exchange for 10 tens. Add that to the five tens we already have, and we'll have 15 tens. And now I can subtract eight from 15, that'll give me seven. And then with the hundreds, I'm subtracting 100 from 100. So that'll give me zero. So my final answer is 75. And again, in the classroom, you wanna have the children work with actual mats and strips and units, manipulating them physically, and then you connect that for them with this algorithm, this subtraction algorithm here. Okay, so uh, we'll continue this video in part three.